Hello, everybody. Let's wait for a few more people to join in. Hello, 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 hello. I am Matthew. Um, I'm here for The Line of Best Fit. You are watching The Line of Best Fit. Um, this is part of our Off the Road series. And tonight we are going to be chatting with Dayglow Sloan, who is already here because he's so prompt, which is great. Um, yeah, so we're going to be chatting about what's going on with him. So... Hi, everybody. Hey, man. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Yeah, really good, thanks. It looks nice and sunny and bright and warm where you are. Yeah, well, it's still daytime. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just, we just, like, it's just, the sun is, like, just set. Yeah, but is it's it? actually really strange in Texas. I'm in Texas, mm -hmm. um, and it's usually, you know, fairly warm, um, but it's, like, freezing. It's, like, really cold. <laughs> It's, I bet it's colder here. We've had like, it's been like minus five Celsius. Okay, like, well, there you go. Yeah, so that, that's colder. It, it's been, yeah, it's been freezing. Like we've had snow and everything. Yeah. You've had like a, a busy, busy start to the year, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was going to be a busy year. Yeah, yeah. So what has it been like putting out, starting the year fresh, new song close to you? Hmm. Yeah. What's it been like dropping that? It, yeah, really exciting. Um, there's a lot of stuff planned this year. Um, as everyone knows all too well, 2020 was strange. Yeah. Um, not necessarily all bad, but very strange. Just a weird year. Um, and yeah, it was just like a lot of writing and self-reflection um, for me. And this year, I'm kind of like letting it out. So yeah, um, exciting. Yeah. yeah, exciting. So what what kind of inspired you to write close to you? What's what's this one about? Yeah, so I've been listening to a lot of like 80s and 70s pop. Um, so pretty much strictly just that kind of music, um, like Doobie Brothers, you know, Whitney Houston, yeah. um, just inevitably like good music. Um, and so yeah, I've just been like listening to a lot of 80s pop and it's yeah. my attempt at an 80s pop song. Yeah, um, it's good. I feel, yeah, I definitely, yeah, I definitely hear that as well. I'm, I mean, I'm sure every, everyone does. Yeah. It's like, it, I feel like it's a good, it's a good like year, good time to kind of like revisit sonically. There's a lot of interesting stuff sure. kind of like going on there. Yeah, and I don't want to be like, like a, um, like the 80s guy you know what I mean where it's like like an Elvis impersonator or something <laughs> but like I don't want to like be like the 80s person um that's just like you kind of you kind of are what you listen to you know you yeah kind of replicates what somebody else is doing and so naturally I've just kind of made like 80s inspired music um but yeah yeah I mean you mentioned Doobie Brothers and Whitney like who are some of your other kind of like 80s inspirations <laughs> um I've been listening to a lot of like Paul Simon as of late. Um, his like eighties like Graceland. You know, yeah, like, amazing. Greatest album. Amazing album. Um, yeah. Let's see, Christopher Cross, um, who's also an Austin-based artist. Um, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. It's cool, it's cool. Um, yeah. What about ABBA? I feel like ABBA are like 18. Oh, yeah. 80s, right, yeah. Yeah, honestly, like, to be totally honest, I haven't listened to a ton of um, ABBA, but I need to. Honestly, I need to. Lay All Your Love On Me. Yeah. What, that is one of my yeah. favorite, one of the best songs ever. But mm. I, yeah, definitely get into, get into some more ABBA. Yeah, I know, like, um, <laughs> they have, oh, this is actually just a, a little interesting thing. Uh, uh -huh. They have... That song, Gimme Gimme, you know, like the yeah. Madonna sample. And there's this um, Casio pocket calculator that I have. And oh, I was wow. kind of just like fiddling around with it one day. And I don't know if this is the exact sound that they use, but if it is, it's kind of ridiculous um, because this is just like a toy. Yeah. Uh, but it's like. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, I mean that, um, that, you know, that sounds pretty, pretty close to pretty the, close. Yeah. Um, so fun little music facts there. So yeah, what, what can we, exp I mean, also I wanted to ask actually about the um, TV performance. Yeah. 
like that that was huge yeah yeah really crazy um super exciting i didn't know um it was going to be like part of the show um, yeah which was a really cool surprise um but yeah i mean that was that was really exciting what was it like kind of like doing how how did like the the performance work in times in terms of like lockdown and like stuff what did you like record it with your band kind of like separately yeah well so it's kind of a bummer um we didn't get to travel to new york i think stephen colbert is in new york yeah uh, but we just filmed it in austin um which was kind of a strange thing it just kind of felt like i just like sent somebody an email like it didn't yeah. feel real yeah so, um although it was which is really exciting it's just <laughs> kind of strange um you know, to like film it in Austin and then just like send them the video. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was so, so fun. Were you kind of like sat there on, um, sat there when it was, when it went on, on air, like watching it at home? Like, yeah, it's me. It was very surreal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, was that like the first, was that like your first, um, like late night TV performance? Yeah. The debut. Big, big, big big times big 2021 i mean you said it's it's going to be a big year so yeah no better way to kick it off i guess yeah it was exciting um yeah so to the fans watching if you guys have any questions then please you put them in the comments and the little the ask box thing that has yeah the there's a question mark um mm. but i wanted to yeah ask you kind of like what your what you've got planned for 2021 um, what you can tell us right now. I mean, I, I know yeah. there might be a lot kind of going on in the future, but sure. what, what can you let out of the bag? Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> let me phrase this all in a vague way, because I'm, I'm excited to share everything. There, I'm, yeah. I'm working on an album, um, mm -hmm. which will be released this year. Um, so, yeah, that'll be really exciting. I think around this summer um, is cool. when we're going to put it out. Um, yeah, and it's mostly 80s, 70s inspired, I would say. Um, but yeah, it's just like I'm growing up as a human being. Yeah. Um, I'm only 21, but um, since Fuzzy Brain, a lot in my life has changed and I've grown up a lot. So um, I think it'll make a lot of sense for uh, my fans who have been along the journey since Fuzzy Brain to see that. Um, you know, I've changed a lot as yeah. a person um, and musically and sonically. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited to share it. I'm, I'm really proud of it. How was your kind of like process? Like, how do you kind of like get into the mode of like, okay, I'm going to make an album? Was it was it just like you had some songs that you thought fit well? Or did you kind of like sit down and, and actively decide, okay, I'm going to put, so I'm going to make this, this record? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's it's really hard to like look back and think about like what I was thinking. You know, it's yeah. always that way where it's like I don't really remember what I thought. But I, I love cohesive albums. Yeah. And so from the very beginning, I kind of have a rough idea of what the statement of this album is. Um, so for Fuzzy Brain, that was essentially just like um, a very coming of age, dealing with being a high schooler, experiencing change or waiting for change to happen in the future. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty naturally, this album has mostly been about um, dealing with and internalizing the change that has happened very quickly for me. Um, yeah. Not that I'm like, I have to go out of my door and like paparazzi's after me or something. Um, it's definitely not like that. But, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's really strange to have all this attention um, so suddenly, um, and it's incredible, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I complain about it or yeah. something, but it's just a weird mind trip. Um, and so it's just dealing with a lot of that, um, um, emotional, uh, overstimulation. Yeah. yeah. Um, has it, has it sort of like changed the way that you use social media and kind of like look at social media, like everything kind of like blowing up? Definitely. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's really weird. I mean, I have, and I think everyone does has a has a pretty like um, on and off relationship with social yep. media. Um, <laughs> strange thing, um, I never know what to think about it. I owe my entire career to YouTube and yeah. uh, like everything, you know, just like algorithmically based. But it's also just really strange to now like have an obligation and a voice. 
because mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm just a guy. I'm just a yeah. dude, you know, and everybody else is too. And so um, it's just weird to know, like, I'm not in a creepy way, but I'm being watched. Like, yeah, um, I'm being watched and um, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, we've got a lot of, que a lot of the questions are just, can I call you tonight? Question. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sure, yeah. um, obviously, like, so this one is from Tuta.mj. Um, do you think you'll go on tour? I mean, obviously, like, things are very, who knows what will happen in terms of touring, really. But I mean, is the, the plan must be at some point. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, definitely, yes. I cannot wait to play shows again. Um, things are kind of starting to be planned by the end of the year. And um, everybody's kind of waiting to announce that kind of stuff, but yeah. um, definitely we'll be playing shows all across the world. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this one here, um, is there a top five of the countries that you want to get to? I mean, I guess the, oh, the, man. Music, the music has reached like far and wide now. Like, yeah. it's, it's out there. Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> like, um, yeah, just honestly everywhere um hopefully it'll just be a world tour um you know and we can play as many shows as i possibly can um so we'll just have to see what happens there um because yeah. um, unfortunately costs money to go on tour and especially now it um uh, is just like so weird to navigate um because like you have to, everything has to open up yeah totally. in, in order to go on tour um so we'll have to wait and see but yeah yeah um i like this one this one is from bella fellows do you have any songwriting tips for any aspiring artists who are watching this um man i i mean totally honestly i think i have no idea what i'm doing uh, <laughs> so yeah I, I don't know if i have like you know some supreme advice but i would say if you're wanting to learn how to write music, um, listen to a lot of different types of music, you know, explore yeah. down different um, genre uh, routes and worlds and just kind of open up your mind to um, a lot of different types of music and just play instruments every day um, and have fun, you know? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like immerse yourself in it. I think like that's, I mean, if anyone out there is looking to get involved, like from on the other side, like do like music journalism, like yeah. just start reviewing albums and sure. just write about it for yourself, publish it yourself yeah. and then start approaching blogs, websites, wherever you want. And yeah. I think it's like repetition and like building yourself yeah. up really it's, helps. It's rock and roll. You gotta roll. Yeah. You gotta rock, you gotta roll. <laughs> Um, yeah, what's your, okay, I, li I like this one. I, I mean, all the questions are great. Thank you guys for sending them in. Um, yeah. Leo Elizabeth, what's your favorite song that you've written and why? That's from someone here in the UK. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. I really enjoy a lot of the songs on the next album, but I'll pick one from Fuzzy Brain. Okay, um, you don't want to give too much away. <laughs> right, yes. Um, <laughs> I would say off of Fuzzy Brain, my favorite song probably is Fuzzy Brain. I mm -hmm. think just for me personally, it just um, is the most sentimental and just immediately reminds me of like the person I was at the time of writing it. Um, so yeah, I would probably say Fuzzy Brain. Yeah. What, yeah, what were you kind of like, I mean, I know you've already said that it's hard to kind of like remember that yeah. kind of frame of mind, but like what yeah. was, what was going on when like Fuzzy Brain was coming together, this, this song? Um, I think I was just kind of like learning who I was and I'm still definitely doing yeah. that. Um, but I was just really overwhelmed with like a lot of just like, um, I'm definitely a perfectionist and like an overthinker. And like, I was just learning that at the time, um, just about like the kind of man I was going to be, you know, when you're 18, you're kind of like, okay, I'm like kind of turning into a, a man, you know, I'm not a yeah. boy anymore, a little baby. Um, but yeah, I, I think I was just like figuring out how to like internalize stuff. I don't know. 
Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, we've got, yeah, another question about one of the, the songs on Fuzzy Brain. What was the inspiration for Hot Rod? This is one of my favorites as well. So thanks Thank to you. the law for... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Hot Rod was kind of just like, if I'm being totally honest, it was just a very um, emotionally driven song. The lyrics weren't necessarily the emphasis. It was more mm -hmm. just like the general... Um, for lack of a better term, vibe. Um, yeah, I honestly, like, yeah, yeah. So I, I wrote the song um, and I sat with it for a really long time. And it actually, there was a possibility of it not being on Fuzzy Brain because I just listened to it so many times. And I was like, I, I don't know if this is really providing like lyrical and emotional um, contrast, but um, I just put it out and I, it turns out I was wrong. You know, it's been a song that a lot of people have reacted to so positively. Yeah. Yeah. Is it weird to kind of get these, I guess, emotional and kind of like very positive reactions to music? Does it feel, still feel strange? Definitely. Yeah. It's such a cool and crazy feeling. Um, like knowing that my music is just like affecting people. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I guess like at live shows as well, you can kind of see people in real time, like responding as well. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to that, um, to get to play shows again. Yeah. We've got a question here from JC SMVNE um, asking, is there a favorite part of any of the concerts you've done before? They, their favorite part was playing a cow, cowbell. In, mm. um, in your 2019 tour? Um, I honestly might just agree. Yeah, the, yeah. the cowbell moments were pretty fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do, do any of the, do any of the kind of like shows, I mean, you must have played like hometown shows as well. Do, do any of those kind of like stick out as being like, wow, like I've made it kind of vibes? Yeah, yeah. So there's a festival in Austin called ACL. Mm -hmm. um, and I grew up like three, I live in Austin now, but I grew up like three hours north um, in like the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, and I would come down to ACL like every year in high school and just be like, this is like the dream. Um, yeah. Like play at ACL one day. And so I'd always tell my friends like, um, like give me like five years, just give me five years yeah. and I'll play literally <laughs> on the smallest stage here. <laughs> but I will play and like my name will be on there. And so what happened was 2019, um, I played at the smallest stage at ACL, uh, had a pretty good time slot, um, but it was pretty surreal in that moment where I was like, wow, like, I'm kind of like doing this. Um, and yeah, there's been tons of moments as well, just other than that, like getting to play shows in the UK was crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, God, there's so many, um, so many questions. Okay, I like it. this one's a bit different. Like, how do you structure your songs? This one's from Fat. This, I, uh, someone dot wav. Um, yeah, I'm, sure. From, from Malaysia. Malaysia. Um, yeah. Let's see. It kind of like, kind of just depends. For me, mm -hmm. like writing music is very. Um, all encompassing yeah where i don't necessarily like i can't wrap my mind around the idea of just writing like one part and then like someone else doing another part mm -hmm. it's just really hard for me to think in that way where um like mixing to me is even very musical and thinking about effects and production as the song itself so usually i'll just sit in my studio and just like do everything in the matter of like an hour or two and then i'll have pretty much the song and then i'll go later and kind of like revise um the composition um but most of my songs really are built around a very basic um hook or yeah. like chord progression um that really just repeats throughout the song but i don't ever want my songs to be like uber repetitive. I think mm -hmm. repetitiveness is good in some cases because like I love like dance music and disco. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of just depends on the song. Yeah, totally. Um, kind of controversial one. 
you don't have to decide, but ABBA or the Beatles? Do you have a, do you have a favorite? Do you prefer Let's just go with Beatles. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't not. They are, they are legends. Mm -hmm. Absolute legends. Do you have kind of like a, um, I'm trying to find the, there's a question where someone asks, um, who is, yeah, here we go. Who's your biggest inspiration? Why do you have, is there kind of like an artist that you're like, it's, it's them? Um, it kind of just like changes from time to time. There's never been like, I don't ever want to be like a direct all the time, like this is like the next blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, like right now I'm really into like Michael McDonald and um, the Doobie Brothers and just that whole world. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think like modern references. I love like MGMT, Passion Pit, Phoenix. Phoenix was a really yeah. big like band for me um, throughout high school and growing up and just like kind of opened my eyes to indie music. Um, Paul McCartney, I mean, it's Beatles. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Um, Dayglow Janelle has asked, how would you say you'll raise the bar for your new album? Um, good question. Um, I think with my approach, like if, since I'm like writing and producing everything myself, um, technically speaking and musically speaking, um, my like next album will always be better, at yeah. least in my mind, because I like know what I'm doing a little bit more. Um, so I think sonically, definitely, meaning like the mix and the production is just a lot better because I have more gear. Um, I have a better understanding of songwriting. Um, so I think musically, in my mind, it's a step up for sure. Um, not to like discredit Fuzzy Brain or something. Yeah. Like, I, I love Fuzzy Brain, but it's just different. It's just like a different time in my life. Um, and yeah, I think lyrically, it's just a lot more mature. The songs are a lot more personal. Um, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like what we were saying earlier with like the songwriting tips and stuff. Like it's, it's the more you do something, the better, mm. the better you're going to get at it. Sure. Yeah. Um, I a similar vibe, like Justin asked, do you master your own work? Um, I did for Fuzzy Brain. Um, for this next album, I had somebody else do it that is a professional. I, okay. I thought, if there's one thing I'm going to hand over, it's just, I just have somebody else master it. Fair um, enough, fair enough. Has yeah. it, can you kind of like, does it, did it feel weird letting, letting that part of the process go? Um, it shouldn't, but a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. just a little bit, like, was strange just handing it over. Because I have, um, yeah, I mean, I have, like, managers and a team of people who are helping me develop the project a little bit. And, um, it, it was strange just handing a thing over. I think if there's anything I'm going to hand over, it's mastering. Because, like, I don't know yeah. if anybody knows what mastering is. Um, my <laughs> mastering engineer, I'm sure he does. But, um, yeah, I think it's not... And nothing about the creative vision was changed at all. Um, so it was still very personal to me. I mean, that's what's important to me is that the art that I'm making is a direct connection to the listener. Yeah, totally. Um, going back to, can I call you tonight? Um, Millie underscore is underscore 11 underscore has asked this question a lot. So I thought I would, yeah, let, give, give you the chance to answer it. How do you yeah. feel? about um, it having so many views it's pretty nuts um the internet is a weird thing yeah i mean it must be like numbers like that must be hard to kind of like get your head around because it, it just it's so big that it just seems like yeah okay cool 60 million like whatever yeah i, I mean there was there was definitely a time where like one million was like what the heck yeah you know? Um, and I think w once it hit like 10 million, I think like 25, I was just like, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like what is, what's what's like, going on? Um, yeah. It's just, I can't comprehend past that, that point. Yeah. It's such, yeah. I think with like all of these things, like it's, it gets to a point where we just don't really like, 
I don't know, number, I hate numbers. I don't hate yeah. numbers, but yeah. I'd much rather do, <laughs> deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, th this is quite a nice like, one to like, I guess go back right to the beginning. What was the, what well, was there a moment that you just knew you were meant to kind of like make music? This one's from shira.ca.de. Yeah, that's a really great question. I think knowing the moment you're like made to do something is always tricky mm -hmm. um, because yeah, I, I think my uncle gave me a good piece of advice when I was younger and he said, like the way you know you're passionate about something is if you're doing something that nobody told you to do. Yeah. Uh, especially down to the details. So I started messing around with like garage band when I was like 10. Um, and then from that day on, I was just obsessed um, with like music production and gear and just recording and um, watching live performances on YouTube and like kind of studying and seeing what the bands are doing and how they're interacting with fans. And nobody told me to do that. You know, there was like nobody at all in the same yeah. town I was from that was doing it too. Um, so it kind of helps me realize like, um, you know, not, not that like making music is my ultimate purpose or something, but mm -hmm. I think it definitely just makes a lot of sense for me to do it because I'm pretty obsessed. And it yeah. just makes sense, you know? Yeah, I mean, speaking of being obsessed with it, um, so solist.boy asks, do you have any other interests beside from creating music that kind of like inf that influence like the songs? Like any, I feel like, it, it, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love to hike and camp. Um, I, yeah, I love just like nature, yeah, nature. being outside. I love to swim. Um, I love to like work on just build stuff. Um, I'm really interested, really just in making things. So most yeah. of the time that's music, but um, I actually went to school for um, advertising and filmmaking. So I love like making videos and um, just, yeah, yeah, making stuff. Make, making stuff. But, I've been yeah. cooking a lot lately. Any, any recipe tips for us? Um, oh man. What's the best I mean, thing that you've made? Recently. My about weekly, I make stuffed bell peppers. Ooh, uh, that sounds yeah, good. It's, it's very good. It's very easy. Everybody, listen up. Um, they <laughs> refrigerate great, so it's good for leftovers. You just get bell peppers. Um, you make some rice, and then uh, you stuff the rice in there. You can do like ground beef. You can do other vegetables if you don't eat meat. I don't know. And then uh, top it off with cheese. Put it in the oven. Boom! It's easy, Boom. and it's so good. good sounds delicious yeah. honestly like it's yeah it's getting to like dinner time for dinner mm. like here so i'm like oh true yeah i'm like mm, maybe yeah. maybe i will stuff some bell peppers tonight you should. Um, yeah um we're almost out of time so i'm gonna do like a couple maybe one maybe two more questions um dun, 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 let's find one um ooh. um dun, dun, dun. Can you, I, this is, a, this is a fun one. Can you do a back, backflip? You don't have to show us now. Um, I don't have to show you? No. I mean, you can okay. if you want. If you, if you, if you can do a backflip and it's safe to do so, feel free. If I don't have to show you, then yes. Um, <laughs> if I do have to show you, then I can't right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess like last question, I guess what, what are you most excited about this year? Like what is, what is going to make your 2021? Um, yeah, just letting this new album out is going to be so, so awesome. And a, and a really big relief for me personally. Um, just like finally yeah. sharing it and kind of showing everybody like who I am now, you know, um, cause I've just changed a lot and social media is weird. Uh, yeah. It's kind of hard to translate <laughs> that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I think just putting new music out, it's going to be really exciting. Um, hopefully shows can happen. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be like, you know, too hopeful or something, because I don't know. Um, but that would be my ultimate dream is to start playing shows again um, and yeah. get to meet everybody in the, the comments people. section. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah, so much for joining, watching, submitting your questions from like, 
literally all over the world. Yes. It's been it's been really fun to to chat with you and yeah. And to yeah, meet all of you nice. guys in the comments. Yeah. yeah Thank thanks you. everybody for being here. Yeah. Um well good luck. I'm sure it's gonna be a fun year. We're all waiting for the for the album. So Yeah. Well thanks man. Yeah. Um I'm excited too. Yeah, thanks. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>